Why do people care about Venezuela? Why is it important to be paying attention to Venezuela? It's a question that I think most of us have absorbed the answers, but the answers are important. One of those is clearly the human tragedy that's unfolding right before our eyes. Starvation, deprivation. It is a, a nation clearly in the state of advanced failure from everybody's point of view. The neighborhood is deeply affected by this. Refugees are moving in numbers of a million uh, to places like Colombia and even Brazil and other neighbors. And what advice would I give uh, to policymakers? The first advice I would give is that we are getting close to what uh, Albert Einstein used to define as insanity, to keep on doing the same thing and expect a different result. And upping the sanctions doesn't seem to be cracking it. There's clearly a serious lack of interest in the other clear alternative. Begin a negotiating process, use the Europeans, use the Latins uh, to do everything they can uh, to move the election process forward and depend on the election uh, to be the decider of who in effect will be the political leadership in Venezuela. A much better option than the earlier one. Maduro has to understand that he, if he wants to run for election, he can. But he has to run for an election in which he is not in control of the vote count or the methods, indeed, of casting votes. Uh, and that Guaido, I think, is interesting because increasingly Venezuelans tell me that while he was a kind of stopgap two, three months ago, his personal popularity now puts him in a position to be a real candidate. The question then is, could he run the government after he wins? And that's another question on which I think advice is required. Not only do we need to think about how to hold an election and make it good, but how do we equip Venezuelans with a long fractured opposition to be able to put together the kind of people, the kind of organizations, and the kind of, uh, the kind of elan that is necessary to pull the country out of the mess it's in and begin to provide results to people as soon as possible. I always have thought that Crisis Group can make its best and most significant contribution in the world of uh, analysis and ideas. And uh, you gotta have a good analysis before you start plunking ideas on the table. And Crisis Group, I think, has an unspotted reputation for terrific analysis. And I think increasingly, and I'm a great admirer of Rob Malley and his leadership, uh, the work you're doing on policy recommendations has gone to a new level. And it's something that I've watched Crisis Group for a long time, and I'm very admiring of the new stage of the effort to combine uh, good analysis with good policy advice together with strong advocacy. And those are the three things that Crisis Group is deeply engaged in and can have the most effect.